Cancer. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for our monthly message for January 2020. Can you believe it? Yes, we are already looking into the energy for the first month of 2020. Let's get right into this Cancer. What is going on? Mm -hmm. I want to add more more messages to our reading. So sit back, get your coffee, get your tea, whatever it is that you decide you want to drink while we're sharing a moment. Okay, let's see, angels, what is going on for Cancer? For Cancer, mm -hmm, for January 2020. Let's move on to the next deck. <laughs> okay, angels and guides, we're looking for Cancer. What is going on for Cancer mm -hmm. for January 2020? Ha, ha, ha. These cards are a little bit big for my <laughs> little hands. <laughs> okay, well, I actually have piano fingers, so. <laughs> All right, angels, let's, if you know what those are, very long fingers. Angels and guides, we are looking for mm -hmm, some positive energy, angels. Just, just some positive energy for Cancer. What is going on for Cancer? Mm -hmm, these 24 little hours. 24 little hours. <laughs> All right, come on, angels. Come on. What's, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is going on? Thank you. Let's get right into this. A lot of messages here. Are we ready, Cancer? Are we ready? You're like, get to it already. <laughs> okay, so major theme, major theme of January is the 10 of pentacles surrounded by abundance, whether it's yours or someone else's, but it's definitely circling around you. Okay, with the ace of swords, yes, it is reversed. So there is money, you know it's there just waiting for it to fall down into your pocket. Ha ha! Yes, material harvest. It's definitely coming. It looks like with the two of hearts, it's surrounding a love partnership, right? With this jack of diamonds, I feel like it's definitely, this money is definitely used for, I feel like something creative, but be careful with this jack. Sometimes there can be some craftiness around it. You know, when you, when you, when you mix love and money, be careful. That's all I'm saying, Cancer. Be careful when you mix love and money. Okay, now, now let's move into the recent past, Cancer. We have the Five of Wands, mm -hmm. the King of Pentacles, Patience and Planning, Five of Spades, and the King of Clubs. So it looks like to me in the recent past, it looks like there was some dispute, some maybe some petty arguments, if you will. And I feel like it had something to do with someone not, I, I feel like it was someone not owning their power, right? Someone was um, not walking in their power. Or maybe these arguments made someone not walk in their power, right? And it caused a lot of patience. Someone had to have patience in this situation because changes, five of space, changes. I feel like changes were trying, someone was trying to make some deep, deep change, like deep change and speak their truth. So I feel like it was a bit of push and pull in the recent past. Um, because of the, the kind of nitpicking back and forth, back and forth, I feel like someone lost a little bit of themselves, their power. Um, but, you know, there was patience. I feel like there was some patience. And this could be a romantic relationship. It could have been between a parent and a child, a best friend, um, things of that nature, someone you work with. But I feel like, because, I feel like, I feel like whomever it was that lost their power in their recent past, almost had to sit back and be patient and let things play out as they will would, okay? And I feel like things did change, but it was only a change from someone speaking their truth and standing up in their power, okay? Now, that is the recent past, that is the recent past. In the middle of the month, in the middle of January, we have the two of pentacles reversed, the eight of cups reversed, we have the mental conflict, 
four of diamonds and the seven of clubs. So in the middle of the month, I feel like someone has definitely made up their mind about a situation. Um, I feel like it has something to do with values. Um, I feel like with this eight of cups, I feel like someone is returning to a situation that may be emotionally, um, it's like, yeah, you see the look on my face, right? Um, maybe emotionally didn't serve their highest good, right? But but nonetheless, you want to return to it anyway, right? But you're not, you're kind of conflicted. Do you really want to return to this? You're walking, I feel like there's a walking back of, of something. And, and I feel like it's a walking back because we're looking for uh, financial security. We're looking for security in values, but we're not so sure if we want to do this. It's almost like the spirit world is saying, um, giving you answers. But the mundane world, the physical world is saying, if, if you're looking for security, if you're looking for some type of financial security or a home or things of that nature, it's kind of like um, questioning, do you want to walk back into a situation that, yeah, that kind of left you feeling a bit, mm, not satisfied emotionally. That's, that's all I'm picking up, okay? Now, as we move, as we move to the end of the month, Cancer, we have the Four of Wands reversed with the Judgment card and the Intuition card, the Five of Hearts and the Nine of Hearts. So by the end of the month, I'm feeling like it does seem as though, Cancer, that there will be, you know, I, I feel like I feel like you will either walk back into a situation, a home situation, a a um, a family situation, if you will. Um, but I feel like as you walk back, as the end of the month um, um, gets closer, if you know what I mean, you're feeling like things are still, you know, they're there, but they're just not where you want them to be. And I feel like you will definitely get a wake up call into why things are the way they are. Your intuition is definitely going to kick in. You will get messages from our angels, your guides, things of that nature, you will more than likely have a change of feelings and you may definitely, you may let things go, okay? Emotionally, I feel you may let things go. Now, now, your bonus is, yes, the magician card, judgment card reversed, authority, yes, 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 with the 10 of spades and the two of diamonds. So I'm feeling like, even though things might not be the way you want them to be, things don't fit like a puzzle, things aren't um, moving smoothly as you would like them to be, I still feel you trying to manifest something. And I feel like it's not, because I feel like you're it, something, you're feeling like something is not fair. You're feeling like things did not work out in your favor. And with this authority, I feel like, you're you're definitely feel like you came up against something that was like boom like a brick wall right and the ten of, of spades is saying there's going to be a lot of work surrounding this like I feel like uh, I, the work is just going to keep coming in this partnership or this partnership like the two of diamonds this could be a love partnership but it's a bit icy if you will because it's a diamond and not a heart okay so this month, I feel like with cancer, there's going, I, I feel like someone has a need to be um, in a bond, in a partnership. Um, this could be with um, a child. It could be with a, a someone that maybe you live with or, or someone that you um, are in a, a love bond with. And I feel like this love bond is definitely, you know, your security is wrapped up in this love bond. And I feel like, there's an element of push and pull, leave and, and come back, leave and come back. But each time I feel like you come back, it's like it's, there's this wall. There's this wall, right? And it, it's like the security that you're looking for, you're not finding it. Like you're getting partial, but you're not finding it. And you're, you're definitely feeling like things in this situation are not fair. You're realizing that there's so much work involved in this. And it's, um, it's kind of... Like, I feel like you might let it go. 
I feel like you, your intuit. If you listen to your angels, if you listen to your own intuition, not even you know, put your angels aside, right? Put your angels, your guides, all of your spirit worlds aside, and listen to your intuition. It definitely feels like your intuition is telling you, like you're gonna get messages, and um, I feel like these are. It might be in your dreams, right? It might be in that moment when you, right before your feet hit the ground and you stand up, all of a sudden something clicks in your mind, right? And you're like, hmm. I don't know if I still want to continue to do this this work. I don't know if I want to keep going back to something that's causing me um, mental conflict, right? For the lack, for for security, and because I feel like even that, even that whole. Thing. Yeah, yeah, you're secure and you're financially secure and things are, are, are grounded and you have the things that you need, but you're not so sure if these things that I need, are they, um, is it worth it? That's what I'm picking up. Is it worth it? Like, I don't think that you think 50% of the time you think it is worth it and the other 50% of the time you're like, it ain't worth it, right? That, that's, that's what I'm picking up, right? So by the end of the month i feel like you're definitely going to make a decision whether you stay or whether you go whether you continue to go down this road or not this is totally up to you so i send you joy namaste and much much love sent 